Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Today, I'll move my face out of the way here. We are set for Core Set 21 tomorrow. So that gives us one more deck to go through before the set new set comes out, and we'll have a bunch of new decks for you. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on top new decks, as well as brews and all that fun jazz. Now, anyway, let's jump into it because there is a new deck making waves right now. We have Orzov Yorian. Now, obviously, any of the decks that we've covered are still going to be viable to play once the set comes out. I do expect some of these things to still carry over, at least for a couple days, um, as things begin to shake out and players have to go and acquire some of those new cards. So with that said, let's jump in here and take a look at Orzov Yorian. So yes, the Companions mechanic format whatever you want to call it has changed um we're still running yorian decks it's still a very popular deck and this one is uh played a ton right now in mythic uh so i want to cover it so that you have it in your back pocket now most of you know what yorian does but for those of you who don't uh yorian is a companion and our starting deck contains at least 20 cards more than our minimum deck size so which is 60 so we're running 80 cards now the benefit that yorian gives us is when he comes into play um we can exile any number of other non-land permanents we own and control and return those back to the battlefield now what this deck tries to do uh, is really early game shut down our opponents uh, with a ton of discard it is really nasty and hard to play against Treacher treacherous blessings here is a great card with the three draw um, it does ping you for one life but you can get it off the board uh, with a few different things here um, and we are getting life gain so most of the time you don't have to worry about it so this is the big one as well doom foretold this was a really popular deck uh, a while back with Esper actually. Um, so pretty interesting to see this thing come full circle to some extent here uh, and glad to see it as another top deck here. All right, so let's hop into the matches. But before we do so, we're going to cover off on the sideboard for you. And if you do have questions or comments, please let me know down below. And additionally, this deck list is available for you, again, down below in the description. So as always, they're available for you to play right off the bat. Um, a couple items here. We got Duress. Where would I play this? I would play this against any decks that you need to get stuff out of their hands. Uh, again, it's an additional discard. But the other big one here is probably against Control decks. You want to see what they have so you can play around those. Glass Casket. We're already running three. But this is a must against aggro decks. I would run this against things like Mono Red. Um, Mardu Knights, probably Rakdos Knights. Uh, those are some good ones for you there. And then any of the cycle decks. Uh, Dispark. This is great against uh, certain things like Planeswalker decks. Also anything that's going to get big. So there is a great uh, Umari Gruel deck that I just showed you guys. This is what you would sideboard in against that deck. I shouldn't tell you that, but yes, that's what I would play. Um, the other place I would play this is just not or not play it is against any of those aggro decks. It's They're just going to go right under this. Um, a lot of the Walker decks I would play this against too. Rotting Regisar. Where would I play this? Um, I would play this in terms of the fact if you need another finisher um, and you're running into some problems. This again is slightly a good aggro-y card. Um, you could put it in there. And that's that's where I would play it. Um, I would play it against other other decks that are running this, like Rakdos Knights. I would also run it against big creature decks um, just to kind of make sure you're okay and, and hold your own. That's the biggest place I would play those. Kaya's Wrath. So this is a really popular card um, in this in this deck. Um, a lot of times you'll see this main boarded too. In this one, it's not. Um, but a lot of people play this main board for best of one. I am going to be playing best of one, but this is this is the version I will use. Um, Kaya's Wrath, a great one to have in there for best of one. Um, and what? Where would I play this? I would play this against any of the aggro -y decks again, you guys. Um, you just want to get a lot of that stuff off the board. This is going to really help you there. Um, I, against things like other Yorian decks or Mirror Match, I probably wouldn't play this. Um, I would play Glass Casket against Mirror Match. The Duress I'd play against Mirror Match. Um, I may even play Dispark uh, in Mirror Match here too, just to get rid of the additional Yorians. Um, all right, let's jump into our best of one matches in our traditional format. 
but before we do so, I can't remember if I showed this, but I'm currently in the top 900s. So you guys can go ahead and make fun of me like a lot of you do. I am going to go play some competitive matches in play. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys give me a hard time about this, but the, the main reason why I do this is I, I don't sit and play these decks like 50 matches, and it takes a lot of time to play and and get all the pro tips as i like to call them um, i'm doing my best here to help you uh, in terms of finding some of the right decks to be playing um, to help you climb the ladder and discuss a lot of brews and current meta um, to keep things going now i'm going to keep this because uh, i got fabled and pull the uh, pull the planes here now here is going to be a interesting matchup for us this is a better one so we will play that um, now quickly here, as always, just want to say thank you to all the subscribers. Appreciate your support, your feedback. Um, if you're new, uh, or this is your hundredth time, I like to say, that's kind of my new line. Um, please feel free to subscribe down over there to the channel. Would love to see you around more, um, and appreciate the feedback and support as always. All right. We will give this a shot. I'll get the casket out first. So we got a good chunk of life gain here. This is a huge problem. Um, I'll just say for mono red. Now next turn we can do Charming Prince. I guess burn here. There it is. All right, and we'll go add two, three life. Take 10 off the board. And we'll pull Yorian. So they need a one drop. If not, we'll be able to pull a bunch back. Well, actually, I take that back. We just don't block the Footlight Fiend. Alright, here we go. Now, I just misplayed. I should have hit with Charming Prince first, but that is okay. Because we will, we will prevail. So I'm going to do that first, mainly because I wanted to make sure the stack worked. And there we go. That is a very, very hard deck to beat with Mono Red. Orzhov, 
uh, is very, very tough. I've ran into it a number of times, um, and uh, that is one that definitely has given me some problems in the top 1,500 for sure. All right, on to our next match there. Now, what would I have sideboarded in? Uh, obviously, it worked out fine for us. Um, I, you know, you could have gone with some of the board wipe stuff. Uh, you could have put it in the glass casket, like I mentioned, to get the other one in there. Uh, those kinds of things would be perfect. Now, that, that mono red deck is very fast. We did a cavalcade one. Uh, feel free to go check that out. We're playing another Yorian, so I will keep the Elspeth one here. And not a mirror match. Actually, I'll keep that up for now. We're actually going to take Karn out of their hand. Ooh. <laughs> this is tough. Get rid of Chandra. He doesn't have another land, though, so let's do this first. Now they'll get their draw. Let me synthesize the facts. There's their land. I feel like we do this first, actually. So this is going to force them to do a lot of interesting things. Whether friend or foe, state your intent. Strike with the cunning mind of the dragon. application of knowledge. Alright, so here we go. Rats first. And then Oath on uh, Narset. All right, we're going to pull Typhoon here with Elspeth. I will learn what nobody yet knows. This is down eight. Of a 
Death by Design, running the Walker's deck. Nice. Very, very nice. They got enough stuff in there. This match. <laughs> Sorry, a lot going on. Let us see here. That would have been nice. Well, that's spicy. Not quite enough. Wow, that would have put us at seven. Less than seven, five, eight. They've been at five. Ugh. <laughs> no pressure. So I would have been close to lethal there, actually. We'll take that off the board. We'll take one of those. We need to get some draw. 
They got a lot of draw on us right now. That one's gonna hurt. We'll see what we can get. We're running out of steam. We don't have the board wipe card. Let me synthesize the facts. We'll take one more pull and then I'm gonna drop this game. And we'll go to the next one. Now, if I would have went right to the face instead of Chandra, I might would have been close. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Uh, right on to our third and final match. Good, good match. Very, very long game. Did not get the right mix going for us, unfortunately. All right, on to our third and final match with Orzhov Yorian. I love this deck. I think it's pretty awesome. And I uh, really, really enjoy playing it. Lots of different mechanics. El Gato. El Gelto. All right, this one works for us. Not a mere match. We'll keep that. Oh, this is going to pain me. But it needs to be done. Strider off there. Now this is going to be really helpful for us. This card does do a ton of work. Serrated Scorpion off the board. There we go. Nothing like fast match against the fast decks. That's kind of funny, <laughs> to say the least. But anyway, that was Rakdos Sack we took down. So we took down a Mono Red, took down a Rakdos Sack. We lost to a Just Guy four color or Yorian four color Walker deck, essentially. Um, but here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Orzhov Yorian deck. Uh, very, very awesome. Uh, really, really enjoy this deck. Again, if you got questions, let me know. I think this thing is just baller, so a lot of fun. Um, and here is the sideboard for you. Again, last, just want to say thanks as always. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel down over there. Uh, maybe at this point we're at 500, so thank you very, very much. If not, if you're the 500th person, thank you. Um, now, with that said, uh, quickly again, just a final, final recap. Tomorrow is the release of Corset 2021. I'll be very excited. Um, I may be spending a lot of time drafting, a lot of time sealed uh, to get a lot of these cards for you guys. So we can get off to a quick start with some new decks and see what's going on and pretty pretty excited for that now you folks take care planeswalkers we'll see you again soon mithras out and looking forward uh to closing out this season here 
uh, currently 900 and the beginning of a new season plus a new set. I think everyone's ready for it. So anyway, we'll see you again soon, Planeswalkers. Take care.